Hi everyone, welcome to SYT Film Club. Now this week we take you to Worthing and our teenage group. They're called SY Teens and so they're anything between 13 and 18. This is a really interesting piece um, with a twist at the end uh, based on a girl called Stephanie and something that happened in the town five years ago that she's paranoid that the same thing will happen again and everyone just ignores her and thinks she's completely mad. Um, but you'll have to watch the film to find out whether she is completely mad or not. This is called Paranoid and it's developed by the students and also the wonderful teacher at our SY Teens branch, Ashley Arnott. So sit back, get your popcorn and enjoy. I'll see you after. She, she was our best friend. Is, she still is our best friend. She was so kind, and caring, and her smile, it just lit up the room. Steph change. She's always gonna be a heartless, rude person till she dies. It was all right. I mean, I had another argument with my friends, but I made up with one of my old ones, which was good. I mean, I had too many breakdowns yesterday, and I had to take my mum to the hospital this morning. But apart from that, it's fine. It's fine, I guess. Nothing much really happened. I had a science test, and I think it went okay. <sighs> I don't know. Do my homework, I guess. It's also pointless. I'm scared. It's gonna happen tonight. Dunno. Annoying. Kind of obsessive. I dated her brother for a bit, but he was a bit of a loser. I didn't really know her. She seems to know me and my family like we're best friends. She's round every single day, asking us questions, and we barely even know who she is. So what colour did you go for? Um, I went for a maroon. Oh, this one looks so good for your yeah. dress. Oh, well done, you've smudged it again. No, I haven't. <sighs> Who's going to Steph's tonight? I was going to go, but I decided not to in the end. Steph. Steph. She's been so crazy recently about how she's going to go missing or something? I agree, just because she looks like her doesn't mean she's gonna end up like her. That was so five years ago. <laughs> Guys, stop, it's not funny. I feel for her. To be honest, she does look a bit like that girl who went missing five years ago, so I'm worried for her. Well, last time I checked, we were all her good friend. <sighs> I agree with her, she has been stressed recently. Can you add some glitter, please? <sighs> Her hobbies seem to be crime and criminology and, well, she seems to be really paranoid about this case I did five years ago about a girl who went missing and she became more persistent in asking me questions about the case. I never found the girl's body. She loved crime, anything to do with crime. Books, films and she loved mysteries, solving things and... She was just so full of life. That's, that's hilarious! <laughs> Steph dumped me. Who's Steph? His girlfriend. Oh, okay. But why? She's just been so paranoid lately and we got into an argument this morning. Oh, that's tough, man. Yeah, that, that's real messed up. I feel like we should get her back then. Oh. No, no. Yes, maybe we could prank her at our house. Yeah. Her brother will be home. 
Well, we could set him up on a date to, to get him out of the house. Yeah. We shouldn't do that. With who? That girl he likes, Connie Adams. Yes. She's fit. Yes. This is going to work. Fine. Let's go. Yes. This is going to be a mistake. She's becoming more and more persistent, coming around the house every single day. It's been five years since my sister went missing and she's being so insensitive about the fact that me and my mum really are missing her. She seems to forget that she was a part of the family and not just a random girl that she's scared about. She's become really, really insensitive. She's a cow. She takes people's money and she bullies people for no reason. Wait, what was the question? Yes, yeah, Seth, I'm um, just going out. Where are you going? I'm going on a date. A date? But I'm making you your favourite pasta. Oh, I can't now, right? But I'm late as it is. Who are you going on a date with? Connie Adams. Connie Adams? Mm hmm That's that slag in your year. Uh, she's not a slag. <laughs> yeah, she is. You should stay here. I can't, all right? I'm running late. But, Spencer, can no, you just... I know what you're doing, all right? But no one's going to come for you. We look exactly the same. The circumstances couldn't be any more similar. It's one day anyways. It's not like it matters. Well, I've, I've got to go anyway. So you're... Right? Listen, all right? You're paranoid. All right? No one's gonna come for you, just, just lock the door, barricade the windows if you want. See you later. She's a mess. She's a mess. That was quite eerie, I thought, especially at the end. So we actually see that she is missing. So she was right all the time and she wasn't paranoid. Nobody listened to her. So poor old Steph, I wonder where she is now. I'm sure she's been found somewhere and is sitting, eating a Big Mac and some, uh, some uh, milkshakes or something like that. Anyway... That was brilliant. Well done, everybody in our teen group, and well done, Ash, for putting that all together. So, who do we have next week? We have the amazing Ferring branch. Now, they're quite small, uh, not in size, I mean, quite small as in the size of the group, and um, they have a very, very strange ending. Love it, love it, love it. And it's all based on a birthday party. So tune in next week for our fairing branch. Have a great week.